Let's wear shirt. Check the check one two. Check check check. check. Welcome everybody to another episode of Empty Out the Clip. You know what it is. <laughs> What's up, brothers? This is here for another round. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Just want to say what's up to everybody uh, listening. If you're new to this uh, podcast, congratulations, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Make sure to check on our um, Facebook page, our group Facebook page, Empty Out the Clip Podcast Facebook page. So jump in, answer the three questions, and our security will uh, will let you in. So you can, <laughs> Sure you can um, feel free if you're already on the on the group page. Thanks for being here, and feel free to post up any comments or or articles or anything you want us to talk about or you want to get our opinion on. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. So what's up, guys? How's what's it going, up? man? What's up, man? Just one by one, man. How how's your week been? Nah, mine mine's been boring. Just work, more work. That's work today. Suck. Get that money. Man, but it's good to see you here. It was yeah, yeah. musty, right? It's been a minute. Yeah, out of, it's been a minute. One of um one of our regular listeners, he's a cop, and you were saying, "Hey, I haven't heard you on the podcast lately." Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going. I'm going tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to the cop. Yeah, out of, bro. So it's, yeah, because he's one of um one of our also our friends. So he got into the one three five oh, on the nice. page. Me. Oh, so nice. yeah, he's um having a good laugh with uh empty out the clip. He's he's enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. Some good feedback. So he's um oh nah, um yeah, just training, same old training. Uh I lost two KGs. Oh, uh, which is loose. cool. So in the total I've lost six KGs. It's coming down slowly. Um but I'm happy. Um just the changes, the small changes that are that I've made. Yeah. Um yeah, no. Nah. Cool. Still training hard. We trained out at um Mount that mountain uh was a mount not Mount Eden. There was another mount out in central somewhere. We trained out there this morning. Yeah. If you see the footage because 'cause I 'cause the, the mountain's like that. Was it a reels? Oh, yeah, I, I put on my reel. Dude, we gotta attach it to the video. Easy. Oh, bro, <laughs> I'm like, I'm crawling. Well, it's, it's, uh, I'm actually progress. crawling up, man. I'm crawling nice. up because the hill, the, it's like that, the oh. steep. So I crawl up, but anyways, um, I made it to the top. <laughs> made it to the top of the mountain, y'all. <laughs> nah. Yep. Nah. That, yeah. That's me. How about you, Let's How's your week? Oh man, it's been a tough week emotionally, but. Freaking just glad it's, it's um yeah it's it's finished and I was looking forward to I actually forgot we had emptied out the clip because it's like I've been sleep deprived yeah 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 but otherwise nah it's been good it's been um roller coaster of emotions yeah and um yeah I'm just grateful to be back on the seat and seeing the full team show up <laughs> <laughs> oh, man there's um talking our language week so malo malo de aloha hai ngalwenga for West West Network um. Yeah, man, but it's privilege to be on this platform. I believe in it, and I believe in empty out the clip. So, yeah, I can't wait to get in detail and empty out the clip on the topics today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. How about you, Cams? Has the week been also? It's been a right day. I had uh, three days of work: Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Because I was had took some days off to go go down to uh, Mount Mong, Mount Monganui. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's Mount our own, Monganui. Man. Hey, is it for the Hoops Nation? For the Hoops Nations, yeah. Yeah. How did they go? So. So it's good, eh? The the boys uh, won their first three games. So, mm. so our boy, he's um he's playing under fourteens for Auckland Samoa. So he went down with his team, and they were like a last minute entry because one of the teams pulled out because oh, wow. they weren't supposed to go down. But um, I think the other team pulled out last minute, and that was like a month ago. So they only had four weeks. Sure, so a month and a half. So four, about four, five, six months, six weeks of training to get down there. So it was good. It was good for the boys to go down there, and they, it's funny because they won their first three games. And then their third game, or their fourth game, they lost by two points. Oh, what? Points. Man. And uh, <clears throat> the boys were angry. They were like, <laughs> they were so angry and they were crying too. Yeah. You know? and, and the coach sort of told them off outside on the car park for, for like acting like that. Yeah, like, yeah. show like... It's just passion, man. They really yeah, passion, it was man. showing passion and that, but you were just saying to them, you know, you don't cry and wow, you just like... Yeah. It's not like you guys... It's all about getting back up after you fall down, you know? Yeah. Like, 
So the things are small games. Yeah. And then he was saying, what well, cracked me up was he said, man, you guys won the first three games, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, nah, if you look at it like that, man, in a nutshell, hey, man, shockers, good advice, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> or you're not going to contract next year. <laughs> man, but Who's the what coach? What grade was that? 14s, under 14s. Under, yeah, under 14s. Man, well, mad, mad, mad props to the 14s. Or can some more, man. Shit, that's solid. <laughs> Who's yeah. the coach? Oh, uh, Raymond. Raymond. Oh, I think he went to custom. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. So it was interesting because it was real serious. Hey, they comp. We went down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah. Just comp, hey. yeah. They do a lot of work for it too. Like right. they do a lot of prepping work for it as yeah. well. Mm. That, 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 <coughs> but they weaken because everyone's got the same uniforms, eh? And they just turn them inside out for yeah. when they play the teams, like. And a nutshell, fuck that, 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 that tournament's organised real good. Shit, like, there's nothing more than 20 minutes away from. The courts are real close, and, and it's a nice place to be yeah, down there, too, if you want to go book a hotel or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the I beach mean, scenery. Yeah. yeah. Beach so, scenery. And it's, yeah. it's pretty packed. But no, it was, good. it was a good trip out, and, uh, you know, I came back, and I had extra day off Tuesday. So I just relaxed at home and watched some NBA. And um, yeah, just relaxed and went back to work on Wednesday. But it's funny because I uh, finished work Friday. We had a few beers. And I was just thinking, man, I know I, uh, I had a short week, but man, it felt like a normal week. Like <laughs> five days. Bah. I think everybody's feeling like that. Have you noticed the weather's feeling a bit warmer? Yeah. Yeah, hard, man. And man, I, this week I was fatigued to the days. I'm not yeah. looking forward to summer, bro. Well, yeah, it's going to be a killer. Then, like, yeah. man, you're going to be walking around with no shirt or what? <laughs> give me free, Not the bear crawls up Mount Eden. That <laughs> <laughs> met me. Honest. It oh. was funny, but anyway. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> All right, um, I just want to make a shout out. We'll do some shout outs. I want to make some shout outs to, to Sifu and his. Oh, his mean, team yeah. up in uh, Auckland, Auckland Samoa, Sa- Auckland Samoa, and his organization, Polynesian Basketball. Yeah, mean. It's good that all the boys are getting together and not only playing the sport but get to know the the culture as well. Mean. So he's really into that. So shout outs to uh, Sefo and his team. Shout outs. Oh, just wanted to use the plug to make a shout out to um, all the King Cobra, Ainga, um, all of NZ, pretty much, and all the family. The shout out for my auntie Lise. So uh, friendly yesterday, and a special another special shout out to the Muggle Mob Kingdom. They came up from Waikato, man, real blown away from the um, just the Afi and the support over the last few days. It's been an emotional week, but I know we um yeah we did did Auntie proud, and just yeah just one of the probably the biggest turnouts that I've seen of patch members or Pacifica showing out at a cemetery, and, and I've seen a few in my time, but it was just yeah. It was just beautiful to see like the the um, the mob kingdom across from the Ainga, you know, just showing up for one lady. I um, mean, just shows how much influence Auntie had the in both ball, clubs. Yeah. And now it's just yeah, just awesome to see, especially because I never raised my kids around that side of my mom's family. Yeah, but it was just beautiful just to see that um, you know, at the end of the day, it's paying respect. It's just respect, you know. And mm. now I was really moved, really moved with the turnout. But yeah, thank you very much and. Also to my Filippo fans as well. We did we did Auntie Proud. I like to think that um yeah I gotta sort of upgrade everyone with um the fiel side of it. But um <laughs> all in uh, due course, eh? you know, in, in good time. But uh, yeah, that's it from me. Mm. Me. Oh, um, I'll do a massive shout out to my daughter. I think I was supposed to do this on the last episode, but for her performance uh, last week on Friday, <coughs> they had a massive ass uh, school performance there. Oh, and yeah, I, was, I saw your stories. Well, there was um, was and I saw was the Kelston. I saw some Kelston uniform there too. Yeah, the um, this is at um Saint Leonard's up in Kelston. It's not far from Kelston Boys. Oh, it's, okay. It's pretty much like um Saint Leonard's, and then there's an intermediate next to it. But it's, I think it kind of just off to where yeah, Kelston Boys are. Yeah, because yeah, they've got a big, nice um, uh, you know, open area where they can just chill out. Yeah. I didn't know that, but yeah, we would. I got there late, and I was looking for my daughter's group, and I had a funny feeling she was already on stage, but I couldn't see her. But it was funny when um, after they finished, because I was still watching the group coming down, and I was watching them carefully, and I just happened to see her on the side, but she was like pouty, oh. so I'm looking around, going, "Oh!" <laughs> when I when I when I crept around on the side, and I was looking at her, and she cracked up laughing. 
I was going, mm-hmm. ah, you thought I did come. <laughs> nice. um, so, no, I was shocked to see her, you know, actually go do that. I thought she would be like me and just run off the stage <laughs> <laughs> and cry somewhere in the corner. But no, she um, she said she had fun. Was so she's uh, keen to do it again next year. Was mm. it for a cookie, cookie no, group? It, it, no, it's not. They, so they call it a Pacific group. So, oh, nice. so it's pretty cool. That's, I didn't expect that. It was really me. So yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Oh. Had a good time. Cool. So, so he's, um, so um, my shout out is, it's funny that you said your daughter. My shout out is to my daughter, Ty, um, over there in Oz. So um, recently we've, um, we've been talking like on the daily, on the like regularly, texting, um, messaging, calling. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, this, this shout out is to my, my baby out there in Oz. Um, keep well and yeah, uh, study hard and do your fit else. Show up, brothers. Show up, brothers. Man. So, we'll start the topics with. Uh, I think we'll go with the. Uh, the What shall we do? Because we're going to talk about the, the Kanye West thing. And that's an international topic, so I think we'll leave that to later. But close to home, there was a thing <coughs> that happened with the All Blacks. So. <laughs> there's a muck up there's a bit of a uh, muck up with the scheduling and <laughs> well, my magazine's full for this shit. Let's go, let's go. In in Zeda, um uh someone someone got fired <laughs> from in Did someone really get fired? Uh, no. Someone's uh, bullies some, yeah, someone's someone should get fired. <laughs> someone should get fired because you know, when they did the scheduling for the games, um someone decided to not check the calendar and um and when they were deciding whether where all blacks will play Japan, they Put it on the date, the same date as the 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 women's New Zealand women's the the, the Black Ferns to play in their quarterfinals on the same time, or maybe ten minutes. The kickoff starts ten minutes before the kickoff to the the women's game. So they're touring Japan, eh? Yeah. Avi's a tour in Japan, and um, the World Cup's obviously here. Yeah, yeah. And to watch the women's game, you need to book it on Sky. Yeah, that's oh. fucked, man. What for me, like personally, <laughs> it's like it's fucked from the get go, man. Like the fact that we're paying to watch something that's broadcast and it's being played in New Zealand is the big first fuck up. What the All the... Blacks thing with how they schedule in at the same time. How do you weaken the game when the World Cup? The women have fucking won more World Cups than those poor girls in the yeah. black jersey. Yeah, their management shady as fuck, man. They're fucking us over big time just by the fact that they can pick the island players and then they can't play their respective heritage. Second yeah. tier, whatever, man. Someone needs to go fucking beat all these <laughs> assholes up, man. Because it's shocking, bro. Because I know for a fact, like my girls played with a few of these black friends, and like these girls are like a year, not even a year out of school, but they're the most, they're the hottest talent, right? And Wayne Smith didn't want to play Sylvia Brunt. If you see Sylvia Brunt, how she's come up through the ranks as a as a tag player. League player, like she plays, she's been playing Prem's rugby since she was 15. Damn. She was on the scene at Ponsonby Rugby. Hardest thing, stepping everyone, freaking fending women off. Yeah. But that's the talent. No, and she didn't get vaxxed. I know that for a fact. She didn't get vaxxed. So she was on the outer for a long time. Like the fact that we got to pay, we got to pay to see their talent, even though it's local rugby. And they're playing a lot here in of, New Zealand. And they're playing here in New Zealand. Bruh. And. It's like they can't win, man. They're never gonna the the game. The game's never gonna change if they're not gonna just you know because they've only just started paying them. So we can have a woman prime minister, and then they can agree in elections to say, look, <coughs> hey, you know it's about time. Yeah. But when they're doing shit like this, or well, what are that say? So, Says a lot. Wait, but so, you, but what about the men's game? Are their games free on Sky? No, they're on, I'm not too sure actually. I think the live is on Sky. It was on oh. Sky. The, they don't have delayed coverage on Prime. Because I don't have Prime, so I don't know. I never, I never do watch delayed coverage anyway. I always watch things live. But yeah. but but it's the it's the predicament that they've actually say if you had to pay to watch one, Bruh. which one would you watch? Because Cam clearly said it on the post. Yeah. <laughs> like, you watch oh, I watch the All Blacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the talent in the women's rugby team is is sexy, bro. Like you know I love watching it because their game is a lot different. Yeah. Right. And if you see the women's game, if you're not listening to the bullshit commentary, man, there's some talent. It's it's, yeah. it's cool to watch, eh? Because if not, if they aren't as good, like technically, 
But the way they moved the ball is a lot better to watch. Like, that's how I feel. You know because what? You just made a good point mm. for me. Because I would rather watch <coughs> women's rugby. Still listen to their fucking Justin Marshall on the commentary, you know? <laughs> and, there, there, and there it is. But let's be honest. Because I can't watch, if I watch the rugby game, or like a blues game, for example, <laughs> if, I, if I watch the blues, I can't listen to the proper commentary. But then there's been some games where you can watch the crowd goes wild commentary oh, yeah. yeah and then they make their own shit up i'd rather listen to that yeah. like they call <laughs> yeah, yeah, lurch yeah. they use lurch and and like it was a king haku like tonga fussy's king haku like when i'd rather hear it like that than listen to a proper because freaking justin marshall and those guys are just biased as fuck man they should have an option where you can turn the commentary off you can like i remember there was one yeah, point it's got the mute button, the mute button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, but, uh, oh, yeah, but i think they did it for on i think they do it on Modi tv like you can watch the delayed coverage and it might be like 10 minutes off but it's all in Modi. Oh, true. I'd rather that. Oh, I'm listening to Balani. <laughs> Freaking yeah. Justin Marshall, the foreskin. Fuck. You know, these guys saying, talking about commentary, I heard, because I actually had this podcast long uh, a couple of years ago with, with me and Tana, and we're talking about new technologies. We're talking about the what happens after, after podcasting. And there was a thing where I heard on another podcast about technology. The future is having um, normal people do commentary for sports. And put it out there so you, people that are watching Chewy. any sports game Whoa. can actually like connect it somewhere on your phone or app or something and change your commentary to anybody that's doing it around the world and Sorry. and that's why i believe in the west west network because <laughs> we are gonna started, do man. we are gonna try and do the torsa more if they make play the against Tonga. <laughs> <laughs> you should get the let's, counter do it. let's do it let's do that game yeah, uh, yeah. get the counter because um, i can't wait man. for Loy to get the ball man <laughs> Fuck. Mm, this gay camp. I remember reading the article about women's rugby. Um, I think this was last year, and talking about um, how you know they go to games and they get their motels in it, and compared to the guys, yeah, how they get their motels. Yeah. So the guys get all the you know luxury, the luxuries. Yeah. They get the physios. They get the oh, gym. Yeah, man. The women get the just the, just a room. Yeah, 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 yeah. The stuff. There's no physio, no gyms. Mm. Well, the, well, that that to me that says where all the money goes. Yeah, exactly. Like if if the men's game is generating that much money that they can have all these fancy stuff, and if if that's just the way the ends that are uh, distributing the money they get, like like say you got men's rugby and and women's rugby, and they have this like spreadsheet that says okay, all this money is coming from the men, all this money is coming from the women. You're gonna distribute that evenly, so everyone gets the same, or you're gonna distribute it how it goes. Like we know, let's just say we know the men get all this money. Mm. There's more facilities for them. Yeah, but I think with the men's, like if you look at who's who who wins that sponsor across the trip, uh, across the shit, right? And empty out the Clippers looking for any local businesses. That <laughs> <might be. laughs> but what I mean, like they do it because they're a brand, and the the, the championing the brand of the All Blacks. By using, like, say, if they were sponsored by DHL, for example, they're a winning team, right? And, like, they're the best at what they do. Just like DHL is the best at what they do. Shout out to Port Aburu. But, like, that sort of <laughs> thing is sort of like, you know, Sick. you want to, you want a winning, winning brand for a winning team if you got in touch to, it goes like that. But because we, we have to pay for, um, to watch the women's game, it's not knowledge, bro. But the All Blacks women's, they've won way more yeah, World Cups than the men's, right? Mm. So if, we were watching free women's rugby and it'll be more knowledgeable to businesses than everyone else that they can actually pour more money into the women's game because it is strong. I mean, they've only just doing the super rugby like in the last few years. But if they were paid enough to sort of make it a living, like if you look at Nepal, Nepal's crazy, but like their seasons are so long and they play so many games, it's only sort of just breaking semi-professional whereas they can play, pay their yeah. friends, uh, the Nepal Silver. friends now. Yeah, so friends like that now. But yeah, I'd hate to be whoever's in charge of the finances for um, Sport New Zealand. Mm. I don't, my, my opinion to that is um, I reckon the funding should should go to the team that's winning. You know, yeah, winning. Yeah. Bringing the, oh, what they, uh, they call it um, the bacon. Bring yeah, the bring bacon home. Bacon, yeah. 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 It also pays, <clears throat> they, they also have to support themselves as well, too, eh? in order to get that exposure. For that funding, but it's fucked, dude. Like, there's no salary cap in rugby. Yeah, there's no salary cap, and like the NRL, they have a salary cap. They can do third party um 
like funding. Like I remember when Scott Prince got signed for so much, but then they eventually had to break down because they were including his his package outside of the money, like his assets. And obviously they managed to do that. But with the All Blacks and like if they did it like that with the with the black friends, it might actually work for them, eh? Because there's only like how many people on the field plus whoever's on the bench, but they want a squad. But if they can pay that squad and get them to play and train, bro, we'll be winning way more world titles. Yeah. And if you're a business and you want to, well, I was that you guys. I was that empty out the clip on the back, honestly. Oh, we should, yeah, we should. Bro, you know, <laughs> it's going to get so much free exposure. People will be like knocking on the door like, oh, man, how do, how do I get into that? The, the other problem, I think, is that the women's game, when the women's rugby game, it doesn't match the same calendar as the men's game. I mean, when you look at Super Rugby, like when we used to have Super Rugby, when we included stuff, stuff, Africa, you know, we had five teams in New Zealand, five teams in Australia, and then do we have five in Australia? Yeah, I think. And then South Africa. Queen the Western Force. Then we had South Africa. Then we introduced uh, Japan with and Argentina with the Hagamleras and the and the Sunwolves. So, what did the women's have that time? They had no Super Rugby until until a couple of years in. Eh? Yeah. But when they did have Super Rugby, they didn't involve. They only had like. Four teams, a South Island team, Waikato, Blues, eh? Yeah, but I think if you look at the, because, um, like, the 1A comp feeds, is a meant, meant to feed into the um, the club scene, right? Senior club scene. But New Zealand's got a history of not capturing their talent because mm. for either just parks up and they not using them or they might get a super contract. But there's only, like, what, so many they can get fed into the Blues system or they go anywhere else in the country. But because the women's game is more like straight from club level, straight into their professional environment, which is there is no in between. It never was. Yeah. But if you look at the stats of we're talking about the last 25 years, the club ladies have fucking killing it in the World Cup. So they show a pattern that they don't need to go semi-professional. But, they, you know, so how do you explain that? Because, like, mm. why are we paying all this money to help pay the, the um to, to help the All Blacks, yet they've got the Super Rugby there to pay them? to play in the All Blacks but then for years all the World Cups at the women's one straight from club level yeah like that doesn't make sense I think it comes down the cup. I think it comes down to who's who's going to be watching that's what it comes down to yeah, who's oh going yeah, to generate, yeah. generate the the tickets who's going to generate the views and the tickets yeah. because you know what everybody's complaining about the All Blacks putting someone fucked up and put the same <laughs> time yeah, yeah. On the, but the fact of the matter is who be who's going to watch now you've got a choice yeah. now they've got some data yeah. To say who's watching what, yeah. you know, treat it like that. Treat yeah. it like, okay. You, you guys are all arguing about women's game and men's game. Okay, this is a perfect time to see who's going to watch. So let's let, let's just put the data in. Yeah. So who's watching who now? Now there's no excuse after this game finish. Yeah. They're gonna look at the numbers. Yeah, right. You can't complain like fuck now. Well, you're actually complaining about the reason why the women's game is not as popular. <laughs> yeah, because you're you're making an excuse for. Oh shit! Now no one's gonna watch. You just see that right there. No one's gonna yeah, watch. No one's gonna watch. <laughs> no one's gonna watch. And that, that's a good that, point you make. That's make-ups. your answer yeah. to yeah. what you're trying to fight for all these years. Because they've only just come out now. They're not gonna televise the one A games. Yeah. Here's an example: the St. Peter's and Calston game that was at Eden. They played the Auckland. Was it the Auckland NPC beforehand in the morning, and then they had a club final, women's club final in the middle, or something like that. And then they had the um oh no sorry so they had the women's game beforehand, the one A final in the middle. Then they had the um the Auckland A's, so it was they called it a trifecta right, of the games. No one came to watch the women's game. Everyone came to watch the one A final, and then and when the one A final <laughs> finished, <laughs> no one was there to watch the. But that says a lot too, eh? Like yeah. it can be done locally because it supports there, eh? And like that's the closest thing to like American sports fans with the cl- schoolboys club or schoolboys rugby. But yeah, it's doesn't look like a winning um, thing for the women's game, eh? Like, no. Really no, and the evidence is in the numbers, man. You yeah. can only look into that. Hey, um, um, yeah, oh. okay. So, w- what about the um, changing our codes? What about the you know the women's NRL? Like, do, do you think recently like it's picked up? Like, well, it's been on TV more. Yeah, mm. I, I noticed that too. Yeah. Like, it's been, but see, that's a women's sport, and I, and I reckon they'll have more coverage. And, and and I noticed too that um, do you reckon the athletes overseas in New Zealand, like I'm talking about the women's athletes, do you reckon like the Australian women's athletes are more 
I don't know, like more superior. And like athletic. Yeah, more uh, more athletic. Yeah, athletic. Well, they I think they got more money over there. Yeah, they got more money. Yeah, more financially supported. Because if it's like you're talking about the NRL clubs, like say if you say Canterbury Bankstown, the Canterbury Bulldogs. Well, they've already got an established club there. Mm. They can yeah. just go use it. Yeah. Whereas the Blues would be the same. But if we're talking about like the in between like cities, it's like, well, fuck, they didn't have anything. Yeah. Like you can't say Fangarei is like Fangarei is still <laughs> how uh, Wickham was like back in the day. You know, I they still got to travel. <laughs> I, f- I think they're still using the Mariahs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think Australia is a different beast because they got a different sports culture to yeah. us, and they're crazy right in the row, especially in Sydney and and. Queensland or New South Wales in Queensland yeah ah. you know? and so that I think a big factor is that sports culture they got there that's different to ours we don't have that kind of you reckon this is passion. bigger yeah way yeah. bigger well, it's oh. way bigger it's massive I remember that time like um, I think I told you guys this once before when I was at Melbourne and the train station and that weekend we arrived there was an a AFL game Wow. And like there are two groups at the train station that I've never been to a place with so many people yeah. screaming at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was fight. like, what the fuck? Is that? I was like going to my cousin, is it going to be a fight? You go, no, this is how they are all the time. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. That was like fucking loud. But you know, this argument about like trying to get the women's game of any, co- any, any sport, like you're going to means like, say NBA, right? They've got a WNBA, but mm. who's, who's more, what's more popular? NBA yeah, of course yeah. yeah I mean it's the same kind of thing right you're gonna have men's game rugby league men's game rugby union. okay you're gonna have a women's game too that's cool but to try and make <coughs> it equal popularity with the men's I don't know what you gotta do but it's hard yeah it's, yeah. it's so hard and and a lot of battle is getting the eyes on TV to watch and what are you gonna, how are you gonna do that you're gonna if you think of the men's game right okay if you think of NRL and men's NRL there's gonna be 10 times the energy of hits yeah, ten times the speed, ten times everything compared to the women's game. No matter what it is, yeah. Mm. And what would you rather watch? You know, that's what that's half of what it comes down to. Yeah, the other you know? part is the fucking scheduling, like we were saying in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it was done at a different time, we had more views for the women's women's games. But you suck, obviously, if they put it at the same time as the All Blacks. Fuck, All Blacks is gonna win. I reckon the NZR, the you ought to pay the like a bill, like whoever did that fuck up. Needs to sort of move some of that money over to the women's because that's fucking ugly, man. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because yeah, that, that tournament's being played right in our backyard, like literally up the road. Yeah, it's <laughs> fugly, bro. That stuff makes you, fuck you have to pay you can for do. it. What the fuck? And you think about all the like in Japan, like you know, like say, say for example, we were to go sit in like one grandstand, like we'd take up eight seats. But over there, they're saying it's going to fit like 15 guys in that one row of eight seats, you know? Yeah. They're going to fit way more bums in the seats. The stadium's going to be way more packed. And it's going to get a lot more free coverage. Which is, yeah, doesn't help eh? But But do you guys think that's like the, been the battle with women's sports here in New Zealand? Especially the w- women's sports that have to compete with the men's version of it? I mean, you know, when it comes to netball, it's fine. Because that's a girls' game. You know, it's always been strong here in New Zealand and Australia. It's always been a big thing in, in, in netball, but when it comes to rugby and league, do yeah, you think it's male dominant? Yeah. It's male dominant, but do you think all this talk in the news and everything, what they're trying to do, trying to get things equal, the equal amount of pay, because they're trying to force it, like trying to trying to figure out ways. Because when I think about what America's done, I think they've figured they're trying to figure it out too over there. Yeah. Because when it comes to the NFL. You know, they tried to do a woman's NFL, <laughs> oh, and then right. they took it to the next level because they knew no one's watching. <laughs> take but off their pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. They're then, wearing bikinis. Then they went to the indoor. They went to the indoor women's football with, yeah. with the bikinis. Who, whoever pitched today, whoever pitched today, he he obviously had a re- he was a really good salesman, man, because he would have told everyone, "Okay, I want you just to close your eyes, and I want you to see the Cowboys brand, <laughs> and I want you to just think of a throwback and think about the money we're gonna save if we're not gonna give them a full throwback. I was gonna cut it off at the chest and we're gonna go up. Then I want you to picture this." This uh, right here is a lady standing over the top of you with a helmet on, and she's not wearing any tights because she's just wearing undies. <laughs> How about that? Fucking, they're like, I love it. <laughs> One Let's fucking red neck guy from Texas is like, I want to invest a million dollars, you know? Who's with me? Who's with me? But you see, know? that is an example of them trying to figure it out. Yeah. They're trying to True figure that. it out. They're trying to figure it out. Yeah, man. I mean, it, we can look at it and oh, fuck that, it's fucking sexist, you know? Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, 
How much money they're generating? Really 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 and because the games are long too, like people are really like, "Fuck, I need a good toilet." So they're just gonna <laughs> carry on doing whatever they're doing and watching, Poorly. watching. <laughs> Lines are as soon as that women's <laughs> game comes on, they'll like be like, and then Miss is gonna come in. Did you even do it a little? Watch TV. Like, Shut up, man! Fucking watch the game. <laughs> I have to pause it, rewind it, pause it, rewind it. Hey. See, I'm not saying that's the best solution, but at least you know it, they it, made an effort. It's, t- it's telling you like <laughs> the. You gotta do something extra. It can't, it can't. You know, you're trying to get bums on the seats and get eyes on the TV. You got, you gotta do something. You know. Yeah. Man, people like influencers on TikTok and socials. Man, right about now, they would be helping the game. Yeah. That's what I reckon. Because if you got that, what's his name, Steven. Steven. <laughs> if you got Steven to say something about it, fucking people are gonna take notice. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna take notice. Like, I wanna watch the game. I wanna see what he's talking about. Yeah. Is, yeah. That, is that a segue to our next uh, topic? <laughs> or you guys got anything else to say on the? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, it just seemed like the people, like the girls, are just pushing up a car uphill, man. Yeah. yeah. Until until they get to the next flat, fucking, it's just gonna be like that. Yeah. Right through. Oh, it's been like that for a while. And there is some talent there, I believe, man, because I've been watching the condos and some of the local club talent, man. It's there, eh? It's just yeah. amazing, like, the shit that they can do that yeah. you see at club level and, like, super rugby level that the guys can't even do, you know? But all in good time, I suppose. So um, next, uh, we're going to talk about uh, what's been trending on social media. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been hearing this guy, Steven Setsu, uh, make some comments and everybody's been stitching it up. Is that the... Is that the what yeah. they do? Stitch up. Oh. So yeah, last week we is. spoke about it, about how he he was sort of going at people, and it was when I mean, the Rock had his arm. Was it? With, um, what's your name, Drew? F- who did who asked F-Wallow. the question? Yeah, Drew of Yeah. And then I so said I was just clicked on who this guy was and found him on TikTok. Eh? Yeah, and then I, yeah, then I saw his that TikTok, one of his other TikToks that everyone's stitching. And yeah. then there was that video I showed you yeah. of that guy. Like these, these, yeah, these, like, I think you, you're saying that it went on, tw- even went on Twitter or something. Yeah, I think it's just the backlog uh, of the backlash. It's the backlash of his first video that he done oh, trying God. to explain about The Rock and how people, you know, like he was like sitting there. Mm-hmm. The Rock doesn't own anyone anything. Like, you know, The Rock is purely. You know, he is that one. Brand just because, yeah, because the interviewer just did those my lolly so far. Yeah. And The Rock's reaction was sort of like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> but, yeah. And then What's he your name? <laughs> he just went straight on that, um, you know, yeah. that tangent of like, you know, the Samoan people are the worstest people. Like, you know. Yeah. It's but then you've obviously checked into his, 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 um, his content. So what did you find interesting about his content? N- nah, so, oh, okay, so... He went from um so apparently I done I done some digging right <laughs> so apparently he used to be when he first started TikTok he was uh, um he was like a uh, he wasn't like a, a positive like motivation oh, wow. you know you know God could have fooled me man yeah Shit. God and all, you know bringing like he was a positive yeah made of, you know uh, putting up you know positive motivation on his TikToks right and then um. There was an issue he had with his, and then his, I think him and his girlfriend split or something. And he was, this is when he was he, he was at his biggest. But then it's when he lost, so when he lost forty five kgs. Oh wow! Then 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 so he was off uh, TikTok for like three months or something. Damn. And then he came back on, and then straight dun, to the dun, dun, dun. yeah, his TikTok was I think it went like, you know, fuck your feelings, wow. you know, you know. Fuck all that bullshit, you know. Yeah. Stop being a little bitch. Wow. You know. So I wanna play um, some of that. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I I just want to go after you, after after Karen's plays it. Go around. I want to hear what everyone's opinions are. Get the fuck out of your feelings. Yeah, but Stephen, you don't know what I've been through. Tell you, who gives a fuck what you've been through? Yeah, but my missus left me. Good job. I didn't blame her. Cause you're a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, um, so he did, he did that, and then people just stitched it, and then they, you know, obviously shared their opinions. Um, for me, when I first heard it, like this, this is my own opinion. I thought, wow, that is, you know, straight to the point. You know, if you're, if you're in a, 
if you're in a like uh if you're in the dumps or whatever you know think this is this is he's probably he's probably not like saying it to you directly he's probably you know if if this is the affirmations that you're feeling to your towards yourself you know so yeah. like a coping mechanism sort of yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. come on wake up man wake up yeah yeah, yeah. Get, get to the gym you know go for that walk you know yeah Go, go put yourself out there. You, you know like what I mean? Their voice in your hair, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, then people reply to, like, stitched it, and, like, where the hell did this guy come from? <laughs> you know? Because when he first started his TikToks, he was a motivation, like, he was a, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. church, you know? <laughs> and all that, like, real sort. And then he came, bro, he came, like, and then people were like, Was it a breakup, did you say? He broke up with his missus then? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, man, like, I tell you now, fuck. He when he was like you were saying he was getting stitched last very last week when he did that rocks one, fuck the man on Twitter hey he was getting yeah oh, and people man. going tell you up you pukio at school <laughs> and like that's how bad the content yeah like, but it makes me wonder I was like whoa is this just off the back of that one video he did off the rock but now that you're elaborating a bit more it's like whoa well, yeah he's you he can't he's, blame people for fucking yeah. and for doing it <laughs> yeah but yeah but now nah, that's my opinion though like. You know, if I, you know, if that, um, I just saw it like, hey man, you know, time to get up, man. Dig yeah. yourself out of whatever you're going through. Let's hit the gym. Let's mm. go for the walk. Let's do something, you know. You know, you saying that, a lot of people might not take it that way. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. 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 People and are like, who the fuck is this guy, yeah, you yeah. know? But the worst case scenario is the people that are down in the dumps that might hear that and give even more down yeah down yeah down. yeah nah. see like and that's, that's another that's the thing <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah and I don't that's why I'm like that <laughs> <laughs> nah, and that, that's what people were stitching too but, but cause yeah. I and then we spoke about it early before we started was, I felt like cause I've heard something like say I heard it on in, how I forgot to keep say I heard something and I heard it from someone else like how Ranui is lady yeah, well that yeah, guy's yeah. not from Ranui I was like what the fuck come at me but in my mind when I thought about it if you let the f- if you get feels off opinions, yeah, and yeah. you let opinions get to you, yeah, it's like that noise, right? That noise that creeps in. You don't need don't let that noise like if we're in a, if, like say we're in this room, the second someone opens the window and you start listening to that noise outside, that's when it's gonna pierce. Yeah, and it's gonna get into your heart and you'll be like, yes, what are they say? <laughs> why? Yeah, but if you you know because opinions don't rule, they don't they don't mold your your journey, right? Yeah, they just. Yeah. Just people like like I say that MC Ama says like that small talk is just highlighting the chosen chosen fear of what they're doing. But that guy, the <laughs> way he puts his energy into his videos is what cracks me up. I couldn't yeah. give a fuck about his content or what he's going on about. Yeah. But the energy is just mind blowing. Like, give that guy a fucking ad. <laughs> like, cause he would be good if, if if he was selling KFC and said it will help you lose weight, I will fucking go buy it. Cause yeah. I believe his energy. Yeah. Like I couldn't give a fuck about the content. But yeah, his yeah. energy is, is like, <coughs> whoa. That's some good energy, like right, you know? Mm. So yeah. man loves and it that guy, right? But each of their own man, but I just think that shit's crack up please. Yeah, because <laughs> it makes you it engages you to watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. that's why that's the only reason why I watched it. How about you, Eric? What's your thoughts on what about this guy and his comments? Oh, like with every every other um every everyone else's uh, opinion, you you only can take so much in. Yeah. You can yeah, take yeah. what you like from it. And discard the rest. It's yep. up to you. One hundred. Uh, how I feel. How it up. You can't take everything and then yeah, believe yeah. it to the T. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> but like what Lithy saying earlier, how it's funny. It is fucking funny. Yeah. The guy's the man. His delivery, the way he delivers it, yeah. is quite fucking. Just, just imagine if he was on the court break. <laughs> 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 if he was on the court, like, play. So that guy must have been a superstar when Sunday. <laughs> <hey. laughs> no, so apparently he used to be um. Uh, a, a battle rapper. His oh, name's um, like from the one outs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Fuck, that's probably where he's familiar. With. His name's um talented Steve. Okay, so on, you um, really did YouTube. some digging. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So apparently, that's you know when he freestyled, that's how that was the energy. So wow. and there were people actually supporting how he was, you know, doing that content. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how they remember him before he, you know, put on the weight and then he started doing like a uh, positive, you know. <laughs> Motivation in that. What well, well, this is kind of like you can think of it as a positive in a way because mm. it's like that hard hitting 
positive truth yeah, saying, it's yeah. The, yeah. the hard yeah. truth like it's the stuff that you don't want to hear yeah but you know it's, yeah. it's the right thing to do or yeah. you know sometimes you know you know, it's like it's he's like David Goggins. We don't listen to David Goggins. Oh, <laughs> he's almost yeah. nah, he's almost like to be honest, I feel <laughs> bang, like bang, his bang. his concept, his energy is almost up against his scoop. He's saying shit that people don't want to say out loud. Yeah. Yeah. He's using this platform to say it. Yeah. yeah. Especially when he talks about the Sam Wars. He's like, fuck <laughs> magnify <laughs> that shit. Magnify. Because the people who get the feels about it are obviously yeah. the ones that are fucking yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah. His that's energy is crack up. That's what that's what I can take from it. Yeah. He's getting, well, if, it, if he's getting that much reaction from people, he's doing it right. Yeah, he's getting free yep. Like he's oh, obviously he's piercing right. through the armor. Just when you think you're Iron Man, eh? And he's obviously <laughs> piercing through. Well, oh, come on, it's these, bro. He's got his magazine full with those titanium bullets, eh? <laughs> Hard on, man. Yeah, I, nah, I love it. I love it. Eh? I love it. I love his energy. I love everything that yeah, he says. <coughs> yeah, I, I'm, when I say I love everything he says, I don't have to agree with him. Mm. I just love that energy. Yeah. Bro. yeah. You know? But, uh, there, there's no um, He should be on a podcast Because You know <laughs> this long, He needs a long form conversation Because what if he says Can't be Can't be analysed In a little soundbite Like a TikTok That's yeah. like only yeah. Yeah. One minute One minute Like you gotta clarify About what he's thinking About what he's saying That what he's saying What he's shouting to you Is like the, the On the surface But what he deeply means Steve, man, come on the podcast and let's talk about it. <laughs> you know how like um, let's have a conversation. But like, Tim Rice and that the the, um, the Old Avengers. If they were, if we were putting back, if we were putting a panel up to verse like Asuelu and those guys, Krista Vitsa and those guys, right? He would be solid oh, next bro. to Boom Bullet. Yeah. <laughs> if we put a team together like Boom Bullet, this guy Steve. Fuck, they would have a mean <laughs> battle team, <laughs> mate. Like, just to go put the energy crazy. out there. Right. I can already see the one being like, what the fuck are these guys? You know what? I'll watch that. Just don't make it the same time as the woman's. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, like, straight up. Uh, see, <laughs> just Go down memory lane. Oh, who's, who's got a memory lane? Who's tonight? Oh. I can't even remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got one. I got one. Just because of this week, eh, with um, the Malu and stuff with us. Um, like my my sister touched on like what our roles were in our families, <laughs> and I have to laugh, man, because when my auntie would ring, <laughs> it was like drop. Like that's the way I interpreted it. Oh, auntie ring. Oh shit! <laughs> like, uh oh, we gotta go. She was like, I had to tell my wife, fuck, hey, I gotta go. Because she was like, you have to come. It's like, you have to go serve. Like, let's go do this for L. Because we're being called to go do this for L. And my mom never always agreed with it. She'll be like, ah, why? And then when we'd go do it, we'd come back. And then we'd be like, oh, here, mom, until you see to give you this. And then she went, oh, how is my sister? That was always us within our family. Now with this passing and stuff, or even when we had family events. My sister always ran the kitchen. Like, that was her duty. She'd be in the kitchen. And it almost felt like my auntie was building us up for events like this. Because even when she was at her worst, like, she was sick, she could do stuff from the hospital. It was like she was a text to this, text so-and-so, text so-and-so. And then when we get there, all my sister would be like, okay, okay, auntie's dishes. This is what we need to do. And then I'll be outside either... I put the tables here trying to organize it just to make sure everyone's doing something, right? Yeah. Because you know the cousins, the ones that are just sitting around oh. <laughs> filling their farms, <laughs> like trying to take selfies and that shit, like, you know? And because me and my sister had kids within that time. So now my kids know the rules. Like, <coughs> hey, if, I, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm doing for hours, something's not right with this picture. I should be sitting down or trying to entertain. So in your own families when it comes to if I love, love you like this or like birthdays and stuff oh, where do you sit because <laughs> oh. nah, what I am like what I'm proud to say now that my parents are resting and some of my cousins a bit older than me or younger than me now we sit on the other side of the table mm. on the other side of the table that now we are our roles are like oh cuz see my cousin she takes the minutes I've got another cousin sits next to me he, we like the finest. He's like the finest. Like, you know, and now I've got other cousins and other siblings that it's like, oh, whatever the council decides, decides that's what it is. And we and we just do it, eh? We work hand in hand. It's like, we get it done. Because that's how my auntie was. And that's what she was to the club. Because she was like the only female patch member in the Ainga, in the KC's, all of New Zealand. So that was her role within the club. So 
she fed it down to me and my sister. <laughs> so like even last night, so we had the drinks last night. I left knowing that nah, there's no one, no one else coming. But my sister stayed to the end to make sure that everyone got fed. And when they packed up and left at five this morning, she said, "Oh yeah, there was enough." And they, everyone left. They took whatever me. So I put it on you. Like memory lane for me was me growing up, seeing all of that stuff. But where do you sit in your family when it comes to fails like that? I'm the, I would say the soldier. So I do all the little bits in, like the cleaning up and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And making sure everyone gets what they needed in, in the family. I used to do it when I was young. I still do it now. But I want to do the role where what my dad does. He yeah. does the prayers in it. Oh, nice. But man. I don't speak Cook Island, you see. So I, w- I want to start, I'll be trying to start learning that this year. Learn how to speak uh, Rara. So oh, it's never too late, bro. It's never too late. I, I, I learned to speak Samoan at the age of 23. Yeah, I mean, I, I know a little bit of Rara, yeah. but not enough to do the... Because it's different when you do the press. Yeah. It's in a kind of a different dialect. Dial- oh, okay. Can you yeah. understand it, though? Yeah, I understand what they're saying, if they speak slow enough. But in my dad's tongue, because it, it goes fast and slow and high and low. <laughs> like it, it, the, the way they talk is all over the place. It's weird. It, it's, that's the only place in this where he comes from. That's the only... How th- that's how they talk. Everywhere else is different, but they they do all highs, lows, fast and slow. So yeah, I want to take over the press because he's getting older. Yeah, and that so I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind taking over that. But um, like how you say you have to organize it in your family. Um, because my mum is, she she organizes everyone in the kitchen. Yeah, she knows exactly what everybody should be doing, what needs to go out, how much food we need. But now that's kind of fallen on to my one of my older cousins. Mm. So she, she does that me. part. So we're all taking our, everyone in our family is taking a, a role. Yeah. So the, when you said that, I knew exactly what you were talking yeah. about. That's the, what do they call that? They call it the HBC, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the HBC in the kitchen. We don't, we don't, um, <laughs> we don't, we, we didn't expect to fall into that. It's just how it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think our parents, when they were teaching us, because they we used to go to hair cuttings and stuff, it's just, just how it happened. Mm. Because we're all together doing all that stuff together, then we just happen to fall in place. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. How about you, Alex? Oh, I was gonna ask. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. oh, do you want me to go first? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you know when I was growing up, like, because I always had, because me and my sisters were the youngest out of all the cousins on my mom's side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're the youngest ones. So, and all my older cousins they're old. Like I was going to their twenty first when I was five years old. Yeah. It was that kind of thing. Mm. So. When it came to family stuff like that, like it's all left up to them. But we're just little kids during those times. But even now, like, like not not even now. I mean, the older cousins still run the, all that stuff, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. And so I'm I'm just here to help out, like, just turn up and yeah. do the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, those kind of things. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. So my family, my family's um really female dominated so my dad's side i don't i only know a few of my cousins on my dad's side but um my mum's side like I, yeah i know i basically know everyone in my family on my mum's side but it's more um we have one i just remember my uncle in samoa he's the well he's the matriarch he's the you know the leader of our like the whole family whatever he says even now he's 80 years old he's still like if you'll ring he'll ring my mum you know like there's some father of lovers over in Samoa on that you know we, everyone will have to fork out whatever they have or whatever you know send something over but um yeah but um I remember you were saying this just before like um uh, you got cousins like Twiddling their fingers. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm the cousin next to that one, yeah. twiddling um, and having a smoke and uh, yeah, yeah, taking selfies. But like you know, the beauty that I got out of like say like my last Christmas with my aunt, like you know, she was still doing organizing stuff. She was in the hospital, mm. and this last year's Christmas was the first Christmas that me and my sister we just showed up, you know, and I was like, okay, so can I have a seat, cause. Like to me, that was part and parcel of like, man, gone are the days. 
<laughs> I was standing there with like like two tea towels <laughs> and some food in the fly and, oh, yeah, yeah. and my sister's like make some room on the table for this <laughs> and like in those days it was just pots there were no Bay Marie's you know it was like we had to time shit right like cause bro with my auntie his so was bring up the shit it wasn't hot but <laughs> I was like ouch <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to want to get but bro my auntie loved us man never disciplined us but just the eyes <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are not the eyes pierced, bro. But you know, you ain't telling that story about those kind of memories. That, that's exactly what happens there eh, in our culture. Yeah. Eh? Oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. right. oh, someone, you know, like <laughs> for me, like I remember, like just going over and just helping up. You know, just helping. Yeah. You but know, even if it's like um just like get the um get the bowls or stack those over there. Yeah. Like yeah. or bring the drinks or like oh go you can fill the chili pan up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But like straight up, man, some of my cousins like right to the age of nineteen. It's like my auntie Billy Billy did me. It was like fucking do something, man. <laughs> this on your phone, texting each other, showing each other stories. And here's me, like, hey, my kids are fully grown up. I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, just just for the Malay was just like, oh, it's good to like not have to carry, yeah. Hey. <laughs> because like at least I can look to the right and be like, oh, cause can he? Because I like here. Here's a good explanation. Like, I didn't have any time off work. So to help drive with everything and make sure everything was being done without taking the time off work, you'll be still got it done. Says a lot, right? Yeah. Because like, mm, even my cousin, bro, he was like, fuck that, bro. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like HR. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, no, I can't, man. I can't, I can't take time off work. <laughs> Lucky my cousin, she was allowed the time off work because she's like obviously high up for their job. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, grateful, man. Like, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Some hard <laughs> piece. <laughs> that was a good, yeah. good memory lane. <laughs> oh yeah, the Kanye West one. <laughs> is it? Is that in regards to that um, the Eddie Day steal? Uh, and that's his videos. Yeah, he's been going erupted lately. Yeah, he's been going really nuts. Yeah, man, so Adidas uh, fired Kanye West <laughs> from, <laughs> they <laughs> ripped up his contract, and a oh, whole hey. lot of other corporations ripped up their contracts with Kanye West, Kanye so, West. Uh, so that was off the back of what he said about the Jews, worth. Yeah, and then that well, he's been doing crazy shit lately, but he's always been doing some crazy shit, but the latest was he said some anti-Semitic uh, yeah. comments about the Jews, and then he wore uh, <laughs> uh, White Lives Matter and yeah. offended a lot of Black Americans, Black African Americans. His worst is one, like, because uh, I've only just I've heard the noise, but I was just waiting for something. Because in my mind, I always thought, well, I gotta fight this guy's night. Like, he's mentally unwell, surely. Yeah. And then comes Kim Kardashian even said it on one of the episodes. <laughs> yeah, he's bipolar. Like that's him. So he's obviously got a, a mental illness. But then when I think they come in there sort of like, wow. My, in my opinion, that's when he said the slaves. Yeah. Oh, they had a choice. They, uh, yeah. They had the a four, choice. They had a oh, choice. 400 years there. Yeah. So what do you think, Kenya? I think he would I think what his example of that would have been like someone like, I don't know. Fuck, there's a movie. Is it Django? Yeah, <laughs> you Django know how the black, the black guy then He turns on his own black say. I yeah. think that's what he... He must he have is. taken that <laughs> the context that said they had a choice. You know, you know what's so funny? That's why you... Uh, I wish we had a time machine. And he'll be the first person I'll put on that time machine to go back to slavery, you know? And then Honey. let's see if you made well, it had a choice. Straight then. up. Straight and bring up. it back. Yeah, it's bro, almost bro. as if he's thinking of back then nowadays of course we're not gonna be told what to do nowadays yeah, yeah. and he's thinking 400 years of that how can that be 400 years how can that be like we've been told what to do for <laughs> haven't you learned 400 years is a long time to be told what to do like bro take it into context man like, fuck you know yeah. that's what he's thinking man. Yeah, I, I saw did he go to school or did he go to school I don't know <laughs> I saw on Instagram someone um did you see on Instagram someone burning up his um he had like twenty five K yeah. Was it twenty five K K or fifteen um K worth of Yeezys they were burning them up? But see, yeah. people are clearly like um disturbed, eh? He's obviously piercing through people's yeah um feels like just with what he's saying. And and yeah. his and his concept of that um yeah, man, but it's just his tangents. His his tangents are regular off, <laughs> off the charts, bro. Oh, like, 
when like when I heard that they froze his accounts, the JP Morgan's right, mm. and then his explanation in that video I shared, that that to me says fuck. If you ever watch Prison Break, right, and there's obviously a corporation that runs the federal government, the banks and that, it's like he's exposed them, yeah. without saying an exact name, yeah. because he goes on these tangents. But he was like sort of saying, if you think about, okay, I'm not gonna say juice, but if we were to say a certain certain like religion or race so if i was to say like monkeys so the monkeys right the monkeys have ties to everything in the world and the monkeys control the banks the monkeys have so much power within the industries like music yeah. they're everywhere now the monkeys are gonna create like something like planet of the apes <laughs> but he's exposing them because what he's saying is that the, the monkeys they control everyone they're blacklisting all these ace libs so once oh. that person is part of something like and it's an endorsement like say for example with Adidas if this monkey speaks out they're going to get rid of that monkey or they're going to say push them out of the limelight so yeah, they, that's what they're doing to him well that's what he's trying to expose he's trying to oh. say like man because these monkeys have so much power they can sort of just you know people don't want to invest in them like because hey they got ties to the the other monkeys out out this side of the, of the states and that's all he's doing he's just m- trying to make that aware like that all people are aware of that's how everything is run yeah. and that's why his obviously his worth is just dropping but cam's made a point like bro he's more or less his own brand the only thing is like because when he tried to do the shoe endorsement with editors he wasn't like the rough lawrence like he didn't have that much power because once he actually saw how much money you need to invest yeah, it was out of his sort of control. Like he didn't have that money. His his pockets weren't deep enough, yeah. and he's made that clear. Like he said, oh, I can't. Nah, man. These guys are generational wealth. Fucking, I've just made it on the sheer back of my hard work. And that, this was my that was my point because he, he has got his own brand. He yeah. is he has got famous for his music. I yeah. mean, he's an artist in every which way. His music and his comments, if you think of him like that, or. Or his fashion, you know, he's an artist, and, and, and he's memes. out there, and his, and yeah, his memes, but that's all from him, and he's, I think he's too worried about trying to hook up a deal with these big corporations, you know, when yeah, and then getting mad when things don't go his way. Maybe he got mad because he got divorced, you know. Maybe he's like, like that's his out. But he, I saw, I saw when he like all of that shit happened when he got divorced and that, like he was stalking. What's the guy's name? He wasn't he stalking them? The the couple or whatever. Oh, that actor. Was well, mm-hmm. Kim's, Kim's new partner. But they broke up there again. Yeah. He's, he's the actor guy, the comedian dude. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they're broken up again. I mean, they, she's broken up. She's on her own. But see, like, because my wife and daughters watch Kim keeping up with the Kardashians <laughs> quite often. <laughs> because, you know, Kim Kardashian got popular because of her changing the wardrobes for certain alias celebs. Like, yeah. she would go and find them. So, when Kanye proposed to her, fuck, just make your own brands so he was the tie to her making all those brands like even though they had their own like awful shops and that yeah but he sort of took it to the next level by taking it direct like say if you so were his to, context yeah, and through his context but yeah man if, yeah there's no the way i see the way he's acting like there's no loyalty yeah there's no loyalty it's like but at the same time he's not willing to sort of like you know take any more shit because yeah, he's throwing everyone under the bus as well. So if you read the reports, like he was worth two billion before the, all the shit happened. Damn. And now, with all the breakups with these corporations, or a whole lot of them are pulling out. Eh? Yeah. Not just any of this, like heaps, heaps of other things. Now the reports are saying he's down to four hundred million. Shit. So overnight, basically from two billion to four hundred million, Damn. which is you know still a lot of money. Yeah. You know? But you know it doesn't mean he can't build on that. Like he, it's like he doesn't he doesn't need these corporations, man. And that's what my post was about. Like he's his own brand. Why are you fucking angry at fucking the world? What, what man? Just fucking make music. Make bro. music. <laughs> do what you're yeah. good at, man. Be happy, man. Ah. Yeah, it feels like yeah. When you say it like that, also it's like it feels like that's an example of like fuck. You can have all the money in the world, but he doesn't have his kids. So now he's like raining shit on everyone, <laughs> and he wants everyone to know about it. Yeah, huh? yeah. Like he's one like fuck, God, shit, fuck, my pain. fuck those shoes, <laughs> fuck Jay Z and his missus, fucking all these recording artists, the fucking sides of the monkeys and shit. Bro, that's exactly what it feels like. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and he's just welling up. 
But it is, it's weird because before all of this, he was at churches singing gospels with the. <laughs> I was just about to say, someone pray for that. Dude. <laughs> he was doing all of that for for a while, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. out of the blues, white lives matter. But you know, the other thing is, he's been talking about. He's been angry. In, he's been angry in the black community for, for a long time a while. now. Wow. Yeah. With his over his slave four hundred year slave thing, even with the George Floyd thing, he yeah. said, "Oh, he died because he was on drugs." He didn't. He didn't you know, he made yeah. that comment. And he, the, he no feelings. No, nothing about that cop no putting his, uh, his knee on his neck. He said, "Nah, he didn't die from that. He died from because he's a drug addict." That, those kind of comments like angered the black community, right? And now people want to pull out, c- cancel him now. Like we went, nothing happened when he was talking about the black community like that. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden he says something about Jews. Now you want to cancel? Yeah. Him? Well, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But but <laughs> which really makes which street. makes sense that bit of that story too weird. Like the second he started talking about hating about the monkeys, yeah, <laughs> 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 it's only a monkeys, man. But clearly, man, they, he just pierced through the armor eh, and they'll yeah. like, cancel this motherfucker. Shit, yeah. wasn't he signed to Nike or something before, or they turned him down or something? No, because uh, yeah, Yeezys have always been Adidas brand eh? Because it all started when Adidas decided to make another line that looked like these. Mm. Oh. And, that, and that's what got him started. Yeah. And he yeah. was angry at that and he caught them out. Was but it the it slides? It's not the slides, eh? I haven't seen them, but apparently Adidas made a new line of shoes. Not part of the Easy line, but made oh, a yeah. look like no, it would be the slides. Like it would be the slides oh, because okay. um, I think it's, you know, our Crocs is starting to pick up. Yeah. They're trying to find a market because the slides, and it was the Easy slides, but they weren't. His brand, they win his gen, his his generals, and then you see them, they're fugly as hell, man. <laughs> Honestly, I think Nike came out with a pair of Jordan slides that are similar, but they're a fee, three piece shoes, but they were starting at like two hundred bucks. Are those uh, Yeezys worth it though? Can you, are they comfortable? Nah, I don't think I, they I are. Hear, I hear a lot of people say they are. But nah, I, I don't like, think. Come on, oh. five hundred dollars. You couldn't run on those. You need to be like a Nigerian or a Palangi. Yeah. Skinny athlete to run in there, man. Oh, they're three hundred and nineteen dollars. The slides, yeah. Damn. But they're fugly, eh? Yeah, they look like <laughs> they look like shoes. you know when you go to Japan and they you know like Tokyo Drift and they go yeah, wabagi, wabagi, <laughs> wabagi, That's what they look like. <laughs> Fuck. What a waste. I didn't even like his music. <laughs> I like the first album. That was it. The old, uh, <laughs> his old uh, music, bro. Back in the day. He was the man. Stacey Dash. But the other story was that Josh Olay about the Pride Jersey, yeah. Yeah. He came out about the first. Oh, yeah. Which was cool, man. I was like, we've been waiting for ages, man. <laughs> for a response. First response, yeah, man. So he said that because they asked for something last year and they never got it, eh? Mm. Well, That's he, why he said was... the atheists inside the team wanted yeah. something for a round. Yeah, and yeah. then they weren't willing to like a Christian thing, eh? Yeah, yeah. Because they didn't believe in the the creation of life and all the churches and stuff. That they're like, if you don't know it, well, we're not going to it. So it was sort of like a, a, a heart took a war a or thing. something. Yeah. Well, he said you shouldn't made made be made feel uncomfortable if you're in your workplace. And he said like the club is their workplace, and because the club has just sprung it on them. Because if you look at the exit of this Hesla, I was like, bro, did he take the fall for those guys not playing? Because he was the first to come out and support them. And so, you know, we just heard, oh, this is the first take that he's actually gone on camera. Yeah. But he clearly he's like, um, I don't know, it's genuine, eh? I believe, I believe what he said. Like, yeah, he he said, if anything, they support the, the gay and um, lesbian community. Like, there was never any hate. Yeah. That, that, um decision to not play was more on the fact that the club didn't consult and sit down with them and tell them oh look you know because they said oh why can't we do a, a christians round jersey see what's the difference that they were willing to make them wear a pride jersey but they didn't let them have a round with it you know because they i reckon their club would have just said oh what about the heritage round you know they would have said something like that mm. is it because they think christians are against the yeah well the, the lgbt Stuff. Well, that's what makes it even more like okay, that's an honest answer because he said he's got a lesbian sister. Well, there you go, you know, it doesn't make him love her any less. And she was like saying through all it, through it all, her sister was like, "Are you alright? Like, how's things going?" Like, clearly, like, 
Yeah, because he was getting death, death threats. Yeah, man. Like, oh, he's only a jersey, man. Yeah. Shit. So shit. But clearly to the Australians, it's like, man, if you're not going to wear the jersey, you know. Yeah. You know? You, you, it means more th- yeah. than it does. These people got to remember, man, fuck without the players, there is no fucking game. Full stop. It's just People just need to relax, man. People just need to relax, man. That's just what it is. Relax. They're listening to their outside noise, man. <laughs> listen, like, if the window's open, man, fucking put a ear over it, man. Block the noise. <laughs> yeah, man. I heard on the radio, like, you shouldn't mix politics or sport. That's the last thing you want to do. You know? yeah. Yeah. But it's true, though. Yeah. It's true, though, because the conversation can go from, like, hey, like, now this guy's better than that guy. Now, see, if the coach, as soon as you get to the coach and you start talking about the pay and that, that's where it starts to be like, ah, you know what? We just agree to disagree. Damn. See, they, they do have a round to, or, or was it just Mandy? They. No, they have the, a, a whole NRL. Oh. Indigenous round, they call it? The Heritage round. Heritage round. Heritage round. Yeah, that's where. I don't know. Every team's got the Indigenous uh, jersey originally. Or something? And then they, what's the, when they wear the superhero round or whatever? I don't know what round that is. Hmm. And then we all the super. Hey, oh, hey, um, just off the bat, uh, it's not one of the topics. What are you doing for Halloween? Oh, my kids, they go and do the um, trunk or treat, the Mormon church on Lincoln. Oh, oh nice. Um, They just, all the members, they just park up. In the car park, and instead of all the kids going door knocking, they go just within the car park, they just take their bags and they just go across the car to car. Oh, oh that's yeah, cool! So they can dick out there, but you gotta get dressed. You gotta be oh, you don't have to, but they advise if you can dress as a theme, it can be fun, especially yeah, for the yeah. kids, and it's a lot safer. Shit, yeah. Hey, um, okay, so this I just this is just off the top of the head, right? Memory lane, right? Did you ever grow like growing up? You know, was your family ever into the Halloween buzz? No, nah. no, nah. Halloween only came yeah, up man. because of social media. Mm. Like when internet started, oh, everybody f- started getting into. Nah, it. for New Zealand, because New Zealand Halloween's not a New nah, Zealand I, thing. No, nah. I remember. Like, now nah, we used to do it. Me and my sister used to do it. Yeah, I know people. I remember kids you would, but my like my parents don't even know. Oh no, nah, so we always used to climb. Like, oh, sorry, nothing. Guy know. Fox, Guy Fox was a more bigger thing than. Halloween, Halloween oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, back in the day, yeah, yeah, right? fire, yeah. fire crickets and all. I think we yeah. used to go to sleep at like maybe three in the morning. Like. Yo, but it's a commercial thing, right? So warehouse mm. and all those places, you know Halloween's coming. Oh, let's sell some stuff, you know, let's sell some mm. shit, so people can buy it. So it's more. That's a big factor for why we got Halloween. Man, Halloween. You, you market you're it on the, TV. You market yeah. Halloween, and, and that's so true. Let's bro. do it. Yeah, and that's then, so true, man. It's yeah. everywhere. If 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 like warehouse Linky Red was to bring in a container like a freight container right and it's like a twenty or a twenty by twenty or twenty foot container and they filled that from the bottom all the way up bro full of fucking lollies and that container cost ten thousand dollars they're gonna fucking make a killing just from that one container yeah if they bought two containers in and they're gonna get there's gonna sell they're obviously gonna sell out the first container the second container is just gonna be okay oh I like these lollies everyone's gonna come up for these lollies. But the only times they buy however many fucking warehouses there are in New Zealand, but they're making a clean yeah. off it, eh? Because we're talking about costumes, we're talking about lollies, yeah, we're talking about, you know, um, even, decorations. Even yeah. video games. Like, yeah. some of the video games, they have a Halloween um, DLCs, mm. that they call it. So add-ons to your games if you want to be in the Halloween buzz. Okay. So it's all over the place now. Oh. It's like the Halloween theme is... Well, bigger than it should be what's your memory lane about the halloween <laughs> no, you sound like you got a no i just remember like because um down our streets only some like okay the piling kids yeah. did it you know yeah yeah so but we know, never so all the kids on the street go okay, knock on the door <laughs> no, they're giving no. away our toffee apples <laughs> <laughs> no nah, we because down now down in afton there was only a handful of piling kids you know oh, yeah. probably like two two or three the most and then but yeah, the kids will come knocking. My parents wouldn't have anything prepared or anything, you know. The yeah, streets I remember were Aradala <laughs> and Wadimata Drive. Those were the oh, places to go to, always the, to do the lollies, yeah. Because oh. Ernest was just full of fucking dogs, man. <laughs> yeah. People too yeah. feffy to come oh, knocking the dogs, the dogs. That's why my, the kids never came around our house because we, we, I've always had dogs since I was young. <laughs> yeah. And my dad always, you know, get the dogs to chase yeah. the kids out. I was like, yeah, oh. I've got two memories stuck in my mind in Halloween. Uh, I remember. Uh, me and my ex-girlfriend and because at her house she had heaps of um, nephews and 
one of them, oh, all the kids, the little kids. So they had that Halloween, all the neighborhood kids were going in costume. But the kids in her house went with no costume. <laughs> 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 you know, it's funny, you have all these kids with costume and one kid with no costume. Oh, be the gangster he's, kid with the subtle way. The subtle bro. The minor memory I had was uh, my mom, because we all know kids from our street come knock the door, because we never had any, any lollies, or someone forgot to get lollies. So mum only had um, apples, yeah, for it, uh, fruits, and she'll give it, and you see the faces, like sad, <laughs> sad faces, say on the kids. Grateful, eh? There's some grateful shit, eh? Nah, yeah, I like, I like the trick or treat, um, Halloween when people come and knock on the door. Well, it's funny there because every time I do prepare to put lollies out, fucking yeah. no one comes, eh? Because I remember playing like the, you can go on YouTube and look at um like haunted house music. I like, open the windows, close all the blinds, and wait for someone to knock, eh? And no one ever knocks. It's like <laughs> no one. Oh, this, too scared, Jay. Too scared, <laughs> man. Do down your street, though. Or maybe because I walk around with a signal and shit. Because they're, they're too scared to come <laughs> around the door, man. They go to the house. They go to yeah. the house. Uh, and that's another thing too. Like Halloween season, I like seeing the houses. There was a house in um, you know where the um. The Richie's depots on Swanson Road. Yeah. There's a house, and you know how you turn in right into Birdwood? Yeah. There's a house right in the, the corner. corner. They got like a, um, they got a, what is it called? Like a witch out, but it's a big witch. Yeah. You know, and she's out th- <laughs> like, you know. A big witch. Oh, man. A big bitch. <laughs> You're running back the clock now. It was good. Because no, back in my day, when I was in high school, bro, we used to have the fucking meanest Halloween parties, bro. Hey, this oh, man. The, this is when the, my colors came out. It was <laughs> on Halloween. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was like the real zombies. This was like, you know when a screen mask was in? Bro, yeah, oh, man. man. Oh, like, yeah, someone's yeah. wearing a screen mask, bro. She must be sick, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, right, scream. Don't want to get me one. Jason. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just thought, yeah, I thought I'd bring that up. Halloween season. Halloween's on Monday, anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, two. Just feel poker of the week, eh? I think we've got yeah, two, fun. eh? I think, Eric, you put one up about a woman that um, lost her job because she did a TikTok. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was uh, the Fuck, last week. That was before. last week, eh? Mm. Yeah. What? Because I can't afford to do the cookies and that. <laughs> I don't want to encrypt my phone. <laughs> so I'll be like, oh, okay, so I'll wait for one of the friends to share that. Oh, what, what was that about? No, she um she did a video, but and uh, she didn't, um because it was a business meeting, and she forgot to um, pause it or stop it while she was doing something. And because she dropped something, so she decided to take a video of it while the meeting was still going. So it, while she was doing a TikTok video on her phone, they st- you still could hear the audio from the meeting oh. and some crucial private and confidential yeah, information, information on the meeting. So she oh. lost her um her job because of that. It can't be her first meeting. That's what yeah, comes nah. to mind. It can't yeah. be her first meeting. So at any, at any, in, at any high table, bro, yeah. Phones on flight mode. Yeah. No outside calls unless it's emergency Z. Bro, even I get paranoid like after I do a podcast on uh, the PC. Even yeah. I get paranoid, I take the webcam off the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the USB act is connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover it with tape. Yeah. Just in and case. And then they, they put it in the cupboard. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah, bro, now you gotta be worried, man. Like, if you're watching porn, bro, and you do <laughs> porn, <laughs> make sure you're using the web browser. Just for anyone that's watching, man, if you ever watch any porn, right, you can always click on the tab and do the private viewing. Make sure you close the tabs. Make sure you close the tabs. <laughs> there's been a few of those kind of videos, yeah. eh? That's been, out and that's been viral. Yeah. Like, I remember the one when there was a Zoom call meeting and the guy thought it was finished and for his tennis camera off and he started just watching porn and <laughs> started, started uh, you know <laughs> masturbating <laughs> masturbating and then all everyone's still on there wow just oh, wow <laughs> you know nah he planned that <laughs> but that's what I mean like is, it, is this a planned thing or is it real nah it's probably <sighs> real man I mean that's the Afri- Afrikasi scoop content right? <laughs> <laughs> like, people do people forget to turn off the camera when they're when they're f- getting in their fear because I'm so thinking why would you want to do it straight away after you mean like <laughs> and not even you know like straight like literally yeah. li- li- literally straight away like Damn. not even put that thing down you know yeah. it's just straight I've away heard, man I've heard some Twitch accounts where they finish doing their stream yeah. and then they forget to turn their camera off and they're doing some other stuff fuck not the, in the uh, background, Jake. The ones I like want to feed <laughs> one day. Like, just finish your Twitch set, eh? Just put the camera on the side. Huh, I'm sure you want to feed. <laughs> you didn't see the head going up. <laughs> I'm sure he just recorded a porn. But that was the only reason why I thought that was fake. Because he, he did it straight away. Like, who does that? Uh, 
crazy. Or was he thinking about one of the girls that's on the Zoom? Or Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that's the only other Dishes reason I can think about it. Top left coin corner. <laughs> <laughs> Do this bite the lip on Zing. Sorry, come on, man. Go buy you some energy drinks, Zeus. Buy you some energy drinks, mate. Fuck, get out of there. Feel a in your brain. Fuck, no. You know what's the funniest thing about that video? Clip. That he was preparing to do it, like preparing. You know how he was preparing. Yeah? <laughs> everybody on the Zoom, everybody on Zoom saw him preparing and knew what he was going to do. And they were going, no, no way, no way, no, no. Someone ring, someone ring, someone ring. Someone ring. That kind of thing. Like, no. And he was like, fuck? is that the name of his workplace, man? Fuck it, oh. oh, man. Don't, that's <laughs> legit <laughs> emptying the clip there. <laughs> <laughs> Put the Vaseline, the tissues. Oh. Yeah, man. And while he was doing that, yeah, you can see all the people on the other, other Zoom, the Zoom calls, like looking, like knowing what's going to happen. And they were just. Man, someone ought to ditch that one up and then make him out, just put it on his mascara. <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah. People would be like, was he? Oh, fuck. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting ready to have a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to put on my lip gloss. And hey, Surely. But what, what, what about, um, what do you think about, um, you know, workplace TikToks, like, because yeah. I see a lot of people doing TikToks at work. Some I don't know if they're on the clock or depends you know, on the content, man. Yeah, yeah. Depends, depends. I like doing content just to muck the guys because they just sit around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. they bitch it, man. You know, they bitch it. Fuck it, that guy's bro. The machine's running like fuck. He doesn't have to come over here and like bright yeah. nice ones. At, at work, um, we were allowed to do stuff on social media until probably five or six years ago. Mm. No, they said nah. Nothing they at all. Especially behind behind the um, behind the counter. Yeah. Oh, Just in case that. you know somebody might be scoping, scoping it up. Yeah. And they say, Oh, that's the emergency stop button. <laughs> oh, this is where they push the button to call the police. <laughs> okay. I mean, um, where I work, um, in my company, we've embraced social media. So now this is a new thing. We never haven't done that. Well, you allowed to do TikToks at your work? Nah, we've got an Instagram, and but it's more to do with showing the other side of our, our company. Like oh, the social side, yeah. like it's more to do with um, how fun we have at work, and <laughs> and they try to like if people are looking for a job and look on our Instagram page, they'll see oh, fuck, that's a cool place to work. Like is that yeah. it's for that morale boosting almost? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. bringing social media yeah. into the workplace. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah. It's that kind of stuff. Just as long as they're not going, you're not doing something inappropriate, and you got the <laughs> yeah. the logos, hey, the company logos. Yeah, yeah. Like the one I sent you that other day, I didn't realize. Oh, so I got a work co- a work shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but lucky it's in reverse, see. see. Yeah. One of the cool things I saw on um, social media, um, they know there's this is an NFL show in America called um, Speak, and it's got Joy Taylor and these other guys, and they just talk on I- NFL stuff. But they've got a their social media page is fun, just like how the blue social media is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. but they've got these cool videos where they've got one video because when the when the um, news guys, the news people come on the to work come into the studio, yeah. there's obviously a camera pointed at the entry and with a sign, with a question, and they have to answer the question when they're walking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the question might be, who's the best dress in this, on the show? And they'll come and read it, and, they, oh, and they'll just say they whoever's the best dress, like oh, me, man. and that kind of thing. Like, there's yeah. a different question all, all right. the time. So what, what it's doing, it's getting them to come in, and it's just a little bit of fun. Yeah, and you so know? the all the, the, the fans can actually engage, yeah. Eh? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Say, oh, man, that's cool. Oh, he's my favorite player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, kind of so what do you do at your work? Do you do the same thing? You have not, a the, not, at to the that, door? not to that level, but it'll be cool. I was because I w- look at the, I looked at it. Might not be something cool to do in my, our office, like set up a camera in the entry and have a question. People will answer the question when they walk in to work, and you can pull it on social media. But that'll be cool. But what we do, we just take photos of um, like working, like you know, working or not working. Like if we go to lunch and that, take photos. Or we'll go to coffee, take photos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have like functions, take photos of us, like just not us working, but doing fun things, like doing s- social things, you know. And it's only to get people to look at that company and say, "Oh, Father's a great place to work." Yeah, we you know? trust those buggers. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you know? no, that's a good boost morale. Um, yeah, hey, when you doing stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had this other one. I don't think we have time. But um, before we do last uh, minute shout outs, but there was a name suppression for a New Zealander athlete who was about to go overseas on a sports sporting thing, but he's got done for um, youth um, sexual offending and he's got name suppressed. So um, that's out there and it's just 
We'll go around the table and who do you think it is? <laughs> oh. I know that the baseball is going, oh, the softball is going overseas here, so it might be someone from there. Oh, that's good. Because that's what you have to think about, like, who's, what sports, who's leaving the country. What sports yeah, team or who's country. leaving the country to play. So it can't be an all black, right? See, that's the thing, I thought, and I don't want to name him because he's probably on the paper, but someone from the all blacks camp is coming back for personal reasons, it said in the headline. Oh, that's why oh, Mark Talia got picked to go over. But um, it's not him, obviously, because he hasn't left the country yet. But you're saying it's an all black? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying, I'm saying it's funny how this article came out of a name suppression. And then the tour. And then straight away in the same Herald. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's coming back. Well, from, I wouldn't be surprised, though, because it's, ha- it's happened in the past, eh? And I will say, remember when Siti Vini Sivivatu had a domestic violence charge? And then they didn't want to say what the why the reason they were standing him down and a few days later it was posted so i wouldn't be surprised if you know no matter where who they where they are in the new zealand sports yeah like rank but it's like yeah the thing i hate about the name suppression deal with like athletes is like man when it comes to murder cases in new zealand they're happy to fucking share their name around when yeah, they're the not victim. here to defend themselves like the victim but then they'll give name suppression to like sports stuff yeah the suspect like, that, that shit's fucked I think the yeah. court and the justice system is crazy like that. Because America doesn't have that, eh? They just blast oh, with, sure. uh, they blast with <laughs> does something bad, eh? Because <laughs> it's news for them. Yeah. It's like, man, we're going to get some clicks on here. But um, I think with the name suppression thing, it's all got to do with um, if you're going to, if someone's accused or going to go to jail or, you know, like the name suppression is there so that the families still get paid. Not, it doesn't affect oh, yeah. the social welfare. The, the, of it's the like family. collateral damage. Well- yeah. yeah. It doesn't affect that. Because yeah, it's, it's not fair for the families to get yeah. affected by the person that's you know associated with them or stuff like that. But then, but then you know there's there's cases where like I know last year there was a case where there was name suppression for a guy who put a hidden camera in the toilets of a gym. What in the, in the North Shore? Yeah, and he got sprung, and he got done, and apparently he's a he's a rich guy, and his, he got name suppressed. So, yeah. Which gym was this? Somewhere of the shore. Yeah, was oh. it? He he put a camera. <laughs> he put a hidden camera underneath the oh. um, the basin and the woman's the woman's Shane toilet. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Not Shane. Because <laughs> <laughs> this gym was out. Yeah, out on the shore. Eh? But he was the gym was on the shore. <laughs> <laughs> He's rich, I guess. Holy shit! Wow. Oh, that's fucked, eh? Nah, need to just. But do you guys think? We, no, we we won't say who we think it is, but this name suppression thing. What what are your thoughts on name suppression? Should we have it or not? Yeah, I I say yes to the point that if the until you're proven guilty, one hundred percent name suppression should yeah. be withheld. Exactly. If yeah. it's stopping you, if it's gonna the collateral damage is that yeah, it will affect your name every time you write something like you're blacklisted. Because of a court hearing or because of something along the lines of that. Yeah, it's only fair that, yeah, until you're proven guilty and the, and the juries have decided. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. sometimes that news can be a f- can like taint your name, mate, and mm. everything else you trying to attach your family to. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, it, it'll be your family that will suffer too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, if, yeah, it'd be their family, sorry. So will you have it or not? Name's a yeah. yeah. What you asked? Yeah, for the. I guess the protection of the public, you know, so like what happened with, um, oh, was it? Oh, with uh, Manu Vatsuvai. Yeah, because he got named suppression for ages, eh? Yeah. Until he found guilty and then he, his name came out. I tell you what, though, man, that was Domin News like freaking four years before it even came out, man. Barbershop <laughs> yeah. News like within the same week. <laughs> and I was like, I went and told everyone at work, even when um, Jim Park was part of that too, that ring yeah, as well. well. And it's funny, man, because it's just like, bro, when a story comes through the shop like that, yeah, it's legit. And it's just funny how everyone finds out later, later. Because when yeah. I told one of the boys at work, like, hey, there's some sad news coming, bro. And he was one of JP's, like, biggest fans, bro. And, like, when it came out, bro, he was, like, his heart, well, someone literally got How did he get through. off? Money was. Oh. This, do you think that's the reason why he went to England? Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes Bankroll, sense. man. Yeah. 
It's just, you know. Man. It's who you know, I suppose, in the courts. Yeah. Or who, who's, who's willing to back for you. What kind of influence you Because it was all accusations, eh? It was all accusations. I don't think it was ever, like, concrete that he was tied to it. But then the paper trail. You know, those paper trails are easy to follow, man. Especially on digital, digital, um, yeah. digital um, traceability. And yeah, because once I started hearing it, you know, like, a large amount of people were saying the same thing. Mm. Especially around the neighborhood and people that I, I trust, then I was like, oh, damn. Yeah. That's a sad part, eh? Mm. All right, last words, guys. Uh, who's going to start? Last thoughts. Oh, man, this way I get stuck all the time. Yeah. Uh, I might as well start. Oh, just happy Halloween. Um, what we were saying earlier about people's opinions and not, you know, you didn't have to take everything. Take what you need. If you can use it, then use it. Mm-hmm. If you don't like the rest, throw it away. One hundred, bro. One hundred percent. That's that's a nice uh, way of putting it, man. Yeah, that's how I see things now. But most of the content that comes out of here, I use it a lot. So, one hundred. I'll I'll go next. Um, last last word. So, um, I've been grinding. Now, for the last three weeks, I've lost, yeah, I've seen the litter, I lost six kgs. Um, three weeks, that's two, yeah, that's right, that's two yeah. kilos a week, eh? But that's just changing my, no bakery, no um, uh, takeaways, I've just been eating um, my ham sandwiches, I make eggs, and uh, sugar-free stuff, Oh, sugar-free me. Drinking, yeah. Um, it is the temptation is everywhere. Like I can't, be- yeah, I can't believe how, yeah, how hard it is. But at the same time, um, yeah, got to keep grinding. Got three more weeks on this challenge, and then I'm gonna get fucking pissed. <laughs> 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 yeah, three more weeks. Hopefully, not too much. Don't drink too much. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get lit. <laughs> 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 Yours next. Oh man, just wanted to run off Tokelau Language Week. Um, yeah, so the thing for the Tokelau Language Week, I was trying to find it, sorry. And it was so fitting, bro. Like, you know, I told you guys I was um, raised superstitious, and a lot of the things in, in your life is usually about timing. So when my auntie passed, it rained and my sister got a hold of me before she messaged me. I knew what it was. But the theme, I can't, oh, I can't remember what the Tokelau, what the trans, what the, because it was a um, proverb, but the proverb in English is remembering the past to then know the knowledge of the future or like to accept the, pre- and like accepting the presence. Mm. And I suppose, like, when I think about the week, like, you know, we prepared, me and my sister prepared for this week. And I believe that that was on the back of everything that happened beforehand. And, like, it's been big. Like, I've heard uh, people around the world sort of use that as a theme. Like, you know, this week's theme was pretty, um, it's pretty moving. Because, like, my, my parents, they aren't here anymore. And it's probably be, like, the first full week where it's, like, we didn't participate because... We're worrying about my auntie's um farewell. But man, if anything, if I can add to what what um what pe- what people should always consider, and that's um remember the people that paved the way for you to have the present, right? And like Ella Cool J said it as well on our pod. Like you gotta these people making money off whatever platforms now, they will never appreciate the people that did it before that because they don't know the value of these yeah. guys that paved the way and saying that is like the foundation that nwa um ice cube ice t you know dr dre and that the fucking the 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 platform that these new artists are standing on is on the back of those guys hard work right and snoop is a good example you know he's just pulled back all the masters of all the they shit for me here in NZ, it's like I'm the second generation of Tokalons in here. I named Mangafa back to Ponsonby and I'm now 
you know i've I've left ranoi and i'm gonna tell it to yourself but every everywhere i go i remember my offer like hey my parents came from the islands came here and we're just you know we're just trying to get by and live so my short message in short is like respect the past appreciate the past to to remember you know the opportunities that we have today because without those guys that paved the way for us we wouldn't have anything to stand on you know and you're only as solid as your foundation and i believe those guys that paved the way for us fucking they did a good job i mean yeah man so so nice. Nice. Yo. and um i got they like what they have not and money lover cook that though yeah and that's just forgetting stuff in life, you know. But remember the past, you know, remember the past to appreciate the future. But live in the present, you know. Time, spend with friends, make it happen, man. Then just reach out and just say, oh, man, I'm too busy. Make time. Because then we come back back time. So, yeah, I just leave. That will be my last words. Nice. Shout out to me. Mean, mean episode, boys. Super. Sure. I'm gonna do my one because it's running out of time. But uh, let's get the fuck out of here, guys. <laughs> Have a good week. Fuck. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>